Hello friends, this video is about Tower of Hanai problem. I am going to show you how to write an algorithm for Tower of Hanai by taking a small example as well as large example with 3 disk. The problem is there are 3 towers given and one of the tower is having a stack of disk in the decreasing order of the sizes from bottom towards top. We have to move all this disk from tower A to tower C and at any moment of time a larger disk should not be kept over a smaller disk so this will not be easy to transfer all this disk so for help one more auxiliary tower is given which we can use for transferring this disk there can be any number of disks given in this tower so let us see how to solve this problem by taking a small example. I am taking one example with a single disk. Suppose there is only a single disk given in the tower. Then the solution is very easy. Move a disk from tower A to tower C. Now next, if there are two disks given, disk 1 and disk 2, then the first move will be move a disk from tower A to tower B. As we are not moving into destination tower, we are moving into an auxiliary tower that is intermediate tower B. So I have written the statement like this, move a disk from tower A to B using C I am saying. This is done. Now next. second move is move a disk from A to C. So as it is a destination tower, so directly move a disk from A to C. And this is done. Now third step is move a disk from B to C using A. So here I am not starting from source or the beginning tower. I am starting from B. So I am again using the term using here. So B to C using A. B to C using A. So this is how the statements are framed. And finally this is moved. So these steps were very simple. If there are two disks are given then the problem is very small. It's very trivial. And these are the three steps. Now let us move to the next problem. If there are three disks given. Now we can call this problem as large. This is a little bit complex. Now if there are three disks, I am going to give the moves like this. Move two disks from A to B using C. Actually we have to move one disk at a time, but here I am saying move two disks. How to move two disks from one tower to another tower? Already we have seen it, so you can apply that procedure. So it means this statement is a recursive statement. So it's not talking about one disk at a time. Here it's talking two disk at a time. So how to move to two disk? We have already seen the procedure. So let us see this. And these two disk are moved here. This is done. Second step is move a disk from A to C. Move one disk from A to C. That's it. It's done. Then third step is move two disk from B to C. These two disks we have to move from B to C using A. Again, this is a recursive step. How to move these two disks to from this tower to this tower already we have seen. So this is a recursive step. And finally this is done. Now, these three steps are very important for devising a recursive procedure for Tower of Hanai problem. Let if there are n disks, then those three steps can be written like this. When there were three disks, we wrote here two. So it means if it is four disks, then we'll write three. So similarly, if there are n disks, we write n minus one. So those three steps are repeated here. Move n minus one disk from A to B using C. Move a disk from A to C. And move n minus one disk from B to C using A. So this forms our recursive algorithm for Tower of Hanai. Now here is an algorithm. Here you can compare it with these three steps with the algorithm. 
n minus 1 this from a to b using c and mover this from a to c n minus 1 this from b to c using a the algorithm is if there are n disk and three towers are given a b c and if there are more than zero disks then first step n minus 1 disk here B is the middle tower which we are using so I can call it as using so now in this step C becomes using so C comes in the middle source destination this is middle one so source destination this is the middle one and next step is printf mover is from A to C that's it and third n minus 1 disk this is source this is destination this is middle tower so source destination and this is middle tower so this is how the algorithm is devised based on the three steps we have seen here I am going to trace this algorithm for three disk so this algorithm or a function is called by passing three disk and tower numbers are given 1 2 3 now inside the algorithm there are three steps first is a recursive call then printf then again a recursive call so I'm not going to show this tracing in the calling sequence but I'm just going to expand this now here you can see when three disks are passed with one two three then there are three steps n minus one a c b so n minus one is from three it is two a C B so 1 3 2 the next is print F A C print F A C 1 3 then again a function call recursive call n minus 1 B A C so 2 this is B this is A and this is C then again these two recursive call has to be expanded so they are expanded like this right now we call this as a and this as b and this as c based on that these calls are written again these will expand so this how it looks like as after one disk the next call will be for zero disk and nothing going to happen when there are zero disk so that's why I have put a mark here to show that it terminates here now finally in this complete tracing these are the printfs I have collected all of them here at the bottom 1 2 3 1 2 2 3 2 2 1 2 3 so on now these are the moves that we have to take for transferring or moving three disks from tower A to tower C so let us see whether these moves will really help us in moving three disks from tower A to tower C here are the steps or moves the first move is 1 to 3 so we'll move one disk from tower 1 to tower 3 this is done then second move tower 1 to tower 2 this is done third move tower 3 to tower 2 and this is done 1 to 3 2 to 1 2 2 3 then 1 2 3 that's all we have followed all these moves and we have transferred all these three disks from tower A to tower C or tower 1 to tower 3 so that's all this is the tracing for three disks now similarly this algorithm can work for n number of disks hope you have understood the working of tower of an eye Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment.